A tragic death leaves the Wingate community in mourning after a star basketball player was hit and killed by a train. Queen City News is Morgan Francis, now live at Wingate University. Now, Morgan, what are you learning about tonight as to what happened? Well, Alicia, we learned that someone found Kyle Honore's body here near the tracks, near the university's entrance, and called 911. And some of the information we learned came from the police response. First responders advised us they saw a male on the railroad tracks near the intersection of Camden and Highway 74. Tuesday night around 1045, police responded to the train tracks near the entrance of Wingate University. One thing it appears we got a person that has been hit by the train. Someone called police after seeing 19 year old Kyle Honore laying by the track after he was hit by an eastbound train. Check with CSX, go ahead and try to stop the train. Uh, we are right on the right on the track. Police confirmed with Queen City News the train's operator was unaware they hit someone and never stopped. Students Wednesday morning woke up to an email from the university confirming the tragedy. But just hours before he was hit and killed, Honore was making new friends at the university's cafeteria. I could tell he was a bright person. I mean, he saw he had a smile on his face the whole time, and like you could just tell he was excited to be here. He was ready to play basketball. The basketball star went to high school in Northern Virginia, where a local newspaper inside Nova says he passed away just days after his father dropped him off. The paper reports his dad was also his high school basketball coach and retired after his son graduated this past year. I worked hard for four years of high school to get where I want to be, and I bet he did, and his parents made sacrifices. And I just feel bad for his family and just pray for him because you drop your kid off and, it's, you know, something bad happens to him. It's just an awful thing to happen. Wingate's associate head basketball coach described Honore's personality as one that could light up the room, saying he was a great addition to our team and showed great promise coming out of high school as a four-year varsity player. While many are wondering how this tragic collision happened, the university is offering support to students, faculty, and Honore's family. People have been reaching out and stuff, and it's awesome just seeing everybody kind of come together. Now, there has been mention of a vigil. We're, we're trying to confirm when and where that might be. Honore's family has arrived in town, and a media rep with the university says they're doing everything they can to help them during this difficult time. Reporting live in Wingate, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News.